channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. First of all, just me log in your credentials and once you're done with that, click on the task number 4. We have to complete the task number 4 manually because if we try to complete this particular task using a command line, we won't get a full score. Okay, so don't worry, this is a very easy task. So what here do? First of all, just me copy this sync name over here. So just me copy this, come back and now here just me search for the logging over here. Click over here like this way. Just me click. Wait for a couple of seconds. Close this all unwanted pop up. Now just me scroll down and from here you can see log router. Click over here. Then click on this create sync. Now just me paste the name for the US sync name. Okay. Now just me scroll down and from the point number seven you can see data set ID. So just me copy this over here. Copy that. Okay, now click on this next, click over here, from here just me choose a BigQuery data set, from here just me choose a create a new BigQuery data set. Now for the ID, just me paste the ID which you just copy, this one. Then click on this create data set and it's done. Now click on this next, okay. Now for the filter, just me scroll down, from here just me copy this filter over here, do not copy this last full stop, just make sure of that thing. Now just me paste over here like this way. Now for the project ID, copy this project ID and replace over here like this way. First, just select this thing and remove the square bracket and paste over here. Make sure that your filter must look like this. Okay. Once you're done with this, click on this next and then just me click on this create sync over here. Now in the description box of this video, I will share on the GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here. Now just me scroll down and from here you can see this click here. So just me open this thing in incognito window. This will activate your cloud shield. So just me wait for that. Meantime, just me come back over here and from here you can see this curl command. This will download this GitHub repo from my GitHub to your cloud shield. Then we have to make this file executable. For that we have to just me run this chmod command. And for executing all the command, we have to just me run this last command over here. So just me copy all this command. Come back. Now just me paste. Hit enter. Wait for a second and now here you can see it's asking for the zone. For that, come back to the lab instructions and here just me search for the zone like this way. And from here you can see this zone. So just me copy this zone. You can just me copy any zone over here. Both the zones are same. Okay. So just me paste like this way and hit enter. Wait for a second and then just me click on authorize. Now you have to just me wait for the, this command get execute and once it's done, you are done with this lab. So just me wait for the, this command get execute. And it's finally done. Now if you just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated for any particular task, no need to worry. Just may wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a full score over here for sure. And as you can see, score also update. Just me wait for a couple of seconds here. And it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.